Hey, this is John Lee Dumas, the founder and host of Entrepreneurs on Fire. And if you're wanting to learn how to embrace change and navigate through disruption as a leader, then listen to the Leadership is Changing podcast with my good friend, Dennis Giannoutsis. He's prepared to ignite. Welcome to Leadership is Changing. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change. This is taking your leadership to another level by finding the balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. It's time to adapt in our fast-moving world when leadership is changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Hey, welcome to the show, Leadership is Changing. What we as leaders know to be true is that change is constant. Leaders everywhere confront similar obstacles because people are people, but everywhere you go, leaders are overwhelmed, disrupted, and under pressure. They run from email to email, meeting to meeting. Many leaders are not changing quick enough, which means they run the risk of becoming irrelevant and being left behind. So perhaps the show is taking our listeners' leadership to another level by finding their balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. I believe we don't have enough effective leaders in the world today, and if we can get the leaders to step up and lead change, then they can inspire real change. Hey listeners, it's now time to adapt in our fast-moving world. Welcome to today's episode of the Ask Dennis Freestyle episode. It's always great to have you with me. And here, well, I'm asked a question by our listeners or I share my thoughts, insights and experiences from working with many leaders around the globe. Well, today, I want to have a chat with you. But before we go down there, I just want to say to you, thank you to all those listeners who are reaching out to me and letting me know what value they're getting from these episodes and also thanking for for the guests and uh, and the insights. You know what? It's really, really great to be able to get these kind of this kind of feedback from listeners from around the globe. And you know what? It's nothing more pleasing to hear that somebody sitting in Spain who's going out for a walk is really enjoying the episode and getting some insights for themselves. Or then I get another phone call from somebody who's actually calling me from Australia to say, hey, I just listened to this episode. It was awesome. And this is what I got out of it. Or if I'm sitting down with my coaching clients and talking to them or in my workshops and people turning around saying to me, oh, this episode was really great. I got this out of it. And I didn't realize this. And I learned that. And it actually helped me change my perspective. It's really great to be able to hear that. So I just want to say thank you to all the listeners for the feedback and that you're giving me, and please keep listening to it. But also feel free to share these or this here podcast or a certain episode, whatever's right for you, with your friend, your family, and your network, because nothing more important than actually getting this out to other people. Now, another really important thing for us to do is actually to have the reviews and rating for the show on Apple. You can do a rating. If it's a five-star, it's a five-star, and then put a, a rating, a review as well. And if you're on Spotify, they've just recently announced that you can actually do ratings for the show as well. And you'll be able to see that if you go to the actual whole podcast itself, you will be able to see where you can do a rating. All right, team, it's now time to have a serious chat together. Well, it's here. Yep, the end of the first quarter has already happened. And for some people that are thinking, What the heck just happened there? For some of you, you've gone, gosh, that's gone real fast, and I still haven't finished. I still got things to get done. It's all good, because we have Q2, the second quarter, ahead of us. But before we go anywhere, the most important thing that I work with with my clients is to do a reflection session with themselves in relation to what they have done in that previous quarter. Not many are taking time out to reflect, they're not even taking time out to think, to be to, to be honest. And so that may be you that I'm talking to you right now. Well, it isn't the time that you took out of your team, and it's not about taking time out of your business or the organization. It's about you taking time out right now to work on yourself, to work on your team, your leadership, your business, and your organization. Too many people are not taking that time out. They just Go to the next thing. And what they do is they tend to think about being on all the time. You'll know them because they run from email to email, meeting to meeting, just like I say in my introduction. You know who I mean. And these kind of people are people who don't take stock. They don't stop and reflect. I'm going to highly encourage you to reflect big time. I'm going to get you to do the three by three reflection. You're going to ask yourself three questions and you want to come up with three bullet points underneath each one of those questions. 
as part of your answer. So the three by three reflection is this. Number one, what went well? You know, you've, you've done this whole quarter, so what's gone very well for you? I want you to write down those three bullet points and to think about them. Number two, what could you have done differently? Now, you noticed how I said, hey, I, well, I didn't say, well, what did you suck at? Or, hey, you know, you're useless. What, what didn't go well? I asked a little bit differently, right? What could you have done differently? And I think we have some brilliant insights and thinking and lessons from that. So I want you to write down three things that you think that you could have done differently. And then number three would be, what will you do differently now going forward? So we talked about what we did well. We talked about what we could have done differently. Now, what will we do differently going forward? Because it's really important for us to learn and take stock and move forward. For some of you, you might be thinking, okay, Dennis, but how do I reflect? Well, what do I do? Well, you're going to need to take some time out of your um, your schedule or your schedule, depending where you went to school. Now, you need to carve out that time and think about it, and it's going to be thinking time. I would actually book yourself or book a, a, a slot in your calendar with yourself. Now, you might go to a cafe, a beach, a park, a quiet area, somewhere where you can think and not be disturbed. I would turn your phone on mute. I would, if you have, a, if you're doing it on a phone, on, on a, sorry, on a laptop or an iPad or tablet, turn off all the notifications. Don't get disturbed. Now, you probably can spend half an hour to an hour on this. And the way to do brainstorming is you can either use a tablet, you can use a book with pen, or you might even do what I actually ask people to do, and is go and get a sketchbook. Now, these sketchbooks are from this part of the world. You could talk about an A4, which is probably like a legal size in the US, or an A3 size, which is, you know, a lot larger. Now, the sketchbooks, if it's A4 size, you can put it into a backpack and walk around with it. If it's A3, you're going to have to put that under your, your arm and take it with you. But the beautiful thing about these is that they're blank pieces of paper, blank canvases, as I call them, and you can write down and think and brainstorm in that. Now, brainstorming can be what? It could be mind maps, it could be circles, it could be drawings, it could be numbers, it could be words. What if it's going to be right for you to start thinking about what you have and, and reflecting on what you have done in that last quarter? Okay. So now what? You've done the reflection. You've done all that. It's all very nice. Now what? Or by the way, in your sketchbook or whatever book you're using, take a photo of it with your phone. Always make sure you've got a digital copy. Why? Because if you mislay your book or the sketchbook or whatever it is, then you've always got a digital backup. Now what? Well, now that you've got your three by three reflection done, what will you do with them? Well, that's an important question. Because you see, one thing for you to do it, because as I said before, not many people will do it. But those who do, you've done the work now. Now what? Now what will you do with it? How will you process the items that need to be worked on? How will you implement the learnings and the insights that you've got? You see, it's really important for you to think about this now. And the thing here is this. Q2, the second quarter, is already at your doorstep. It's already here. And so what will you do in the three months of the next quarter. What I'm going to suggest to you to do is think about those different areas from the three by three reflection. And I want you to turn around then and set some goals, set some actions in place, but goals in particular. Yes, you'll probably have some actions as well, but if there's an action item, then it's an action item. And But I want you to set some goals and, and, and put things in place really well. Then here's the key I want you to do. Take those goals or those actions as well, whatever you want to work on, and put them away for a day. Stick them under the bed if you need to. Put them in a drawer. But come back to them whole 24 hours later. And I want you to then to review what you've actually put down. Revisit it. And then if it's still the right focus, then I want you to start pulling plans together for each area and start working on it and finalizing those plans. Now, you also may want to run it by somebody else, somebody that you can trust. Start working with them, talking to them about what you're reflecting on, what you've seen, what you've learned. And then you may want to then start talking to them about an action plan and what you're wanting to put in place and committing to doing. In fact, you may even want them to be your accountability partner so they hold you accountable to what you're saying. Meet up with them every two weeks or every month over the next quarter. Have a cup of coffee and, and review where things are going and how the progress is coming along. Now, for some of you, you just may want to work with a coach as well. So feel free to contact me. Let's go do a free strategy session around what you're learning and what you, where you want to go and see how I can help you. I know that those who have been working with me in Q1 have done some tremendous things and getting really, really good results. 
So if you're wanting to really make sure that Q2 is going to be a big month for you or big quarter for you, then give me a call. Send me a private message. In the show notes will be my email, dennis at leadingchangepartners.com, but also you can send me a private message on social media. Come on, team. Get busy on Q2. For a lot of you, you've sort of been playing it safe in Q1. It's time now for you to really step up and move things forward in Q2. I just wanted to have that chat with you because I know for some of you, there is a burning desire or there's something you're wanting to do. For some of you, using been using COVID as an excuse that it's getting in the way for you. I know that COVID hasn't been easy, and I know that for a lot of you have been challenged, but I know that you can actually work through that and make things different for you and actually turn it around. It's going to take this Q2 to do it, and it's going to take you to focus on certain areas, and it's also going to need to have somebody beside you to hold you accountable and to bring you through and make sure that things get done. So feel free to reach out to me, more than happy to have a chat. Come on, team, let's bring QT home and let's go for it. Hey, listeners, what we as leaders know to be true is that change is constant. Change is incredibly scary, especially with the unknown and unfamiliar territory. It's time to adapt in our fast-moving world when leadership is changing. Look out for the episodes as they've been released. Download them, have a listen, put a review and a rating. Feel free to share them with your friends, your family, and your network. Hey, if there's any feedback you'd like to give me about the show, or if there's a question you have for the Ask Dennis Freestyle episode, then send me an email, dennis at leadingchangepartners.com. Hey, listeners, it's always a pleasure being with you. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, bye for now. Thank you for listening to this episode of Leadership is Changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change, inspiring executives and leaders to adapt and lead a bigger game in a fast-moving world. 